if it wasn't for Jackie, uh, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be pursuing my dream. And uh, all that I can say is an honor to really pick, be playing baseball because of him. I mean, he's one of the main reasons why I love playing this game. In 1945, Brooklyn Dodgers owner Branch Rickey had a vision to abolish segregation in Major League Baseball. Ricky recognized the African-American fan base for the Negro Leagues was growing and saw it as an opportunity to make money. He believed that dollars aren't black and white, they're green. On a search to find the right person to become the first African-American Major League Baseball player, Ricky stumbled upon Jack Roosevelt Robinson, a four-letter athlete from UCLA who is currently playing in the Negro Leagues for the Kansas City Monarchs. Ricky knew the road ahead was going to be difficult and needed to find a player who would not only amaze America on the field, but also someone strong enough to not retaliate against the segregated mindset of Americans everywhere. He needed to show the world that he was a fine gentleman and a great baseball player. Ricky chooses Robinson because of the experiences he's had playing among whites at UCLA and also for being honorably discharged from the military for his objections with incidents of racial discrimination. On August 25, 1945, Jackie signed with the Brooklyn Dodgers and had played for the Dodgers minor league team, the Montreal Royals, in 1946. The following year, Jackie was called up to the Brooklyn Dodgers six days before the start of the 1947 season. On April 15, 1947, Robinson made his major league debut, breaking the color barrier in baseball, which at the time was the nation's preeminent sport. He courageously challenged the deeply rooted custom of racial segregation in both the North and the South. At the end of his rookie season with the Dodgers, Jackie won the National League Rookie of the Year award with 12 home runs, a .297 batting average, and a league leading 29 stolen bases. Robinson had a hot temper and strong political views, but could handle the emotional pressure while helping the Dodgers on the field. Robinson also encountered racial discrimination on the field not only from the fans, but also the opposing teams. A handful of teams, most notably the St. Louis Cardinals, threatened to strike if Robinson was allowed to play. However, baseball commissioner Happy Chandler let it be known that any striking players would be suspended. Nonetheless, Jackie became the target of rough physical play by opponents. He once received a 7-inch gash in his leg from being cleated by an opposing runner trying to take first base. On April 22nd, 1947, during a game against the Philadelphia Phillies, Phillies manager Ben Chapman and other players assaulted Robinson with racial slurs and yelled that he should go back to the cotton fields. Even though Jackie faced countless encounters of racial discrimination, many of his teammates came to his aid in time of need. Dodgers shortstop Pee Wee Reese once came to Robinson's defense with the famous line, You can hate a man for many reasons, color is not one of them. In his decade-long career with the Dodgers, Robinson and his team won the National League pennant six times. Additionally, in 1955, he helped the Dodgers achieve ultimate victory, winning the World Series. Jackie went on to six World Series before retiring January 5, 1957. Between 1929 and 1960, African Americans won eight out of the 12 Rookie of the Year awards and nine out of 12 Most Valuable Player awards. Following Jackie's retirement, he continued to stand up for equal rights, even in baseball. Robinson became a vocal champion for the African-American athletes, civil rights, and other social and political causes. Robinson became a board member of the National Association for Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP, and also tagged along with Martin Luther King Jr. in pursuit of stopping racial segregation. Martin Luther King Jr. stated, you'll never know what you and Jackie and Roy Campanella did to make it possible to do my job. The fight never stopped. During the 1960s, Robinson was a constant presence at civil rights rallies, picket lines, and chained the NAACP's fundraising drive. Three years later, Jackie Robinson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962 along with Bob Feller, Ed Roush, and two others. Jackie Robinson's success continued to open the floodgates for African American athletes. In 1969, Robinson pushed the Major League to hire African Americans as managers and executives. Due to the frustration with the league, Robinson denied the invitation to participate in the old-time game, 
which is a celebration of our national pastime baseball legends gathered together. Before Jackie Robinson passed away, he finally got to see the equality that him, Martin Luther King Jr., and others have fought for. Jackie Robinson's success can be felt and seen all throughout America and around the world. On April 15, 1997, 50 years after Robinson made history, Major League Baseball decided to do something in his honor. Mrs. Robinson, ladies and gentlemen, throughout its long history, Major League Baseball has operated under the premise that no single person is bigger than the game. In honor of Jackie, Major League Baseball is taking the unprecedented step of retiring his uniform number, number 42, in perpetuity. Number 42, from this day forward, will never again be issued by a Major League club. First thing that you notice is everybody wearing the number 42. It's all over the place. You know exactly the reason for today. You know exactly what he meant to the game. It's mind blowing. Like I said, it, it gives you chills every time you go out there and wear number 42. It was very special to be able to put that number on and just represent, you know, what he stood for and all the struggles he went through for me to be able to play this game. I think of it as a prideful thing and, and I take a lot of honor and, you know, respect when I go into the game and wear that 42 on my back. Wow. You know what I mean? It's, it's legacy. The number alone is a tremendous responsibility and uh, being the last player to wear number 42 is a blessing and a privilege and an honor. Now on April 15th of every season, every team in the Major League wears the number 42 and celebrates Jackie Robinson Day in honor of when he broke the color barrier in baseball. October 24th, 1972, Jackie Robinson died from heart problems and diabetes complications. After his death, his wife, Rachel Robinson, established the Jackie Robinson Foundation, dedicated to honoring his life work. The foundation helps young people in need by providing scholarships and mentoring programs. If you look at most sports, they are all integrated thanks to the help of Jackie Robinson and others. Jackie Robinson was a true pioneer in baseball community and a hero to America and its African American people. Jackie Robinson's life and legacy will be remembered as one of the most important in American history. The dignity with which Robinson handled his encounters with racism, including verbal and physical abuse on the field, in hotels, restaurants, trains, and elsewhere, drew public attention to the issue, stirred the consciences of many white Americans, and gave black Americans a tremendous boost of pride and self-confidence. Is him being a person, me being a person yeah. in terms of Dodger, uh, you know, minority owner in terms of African American, I should say, and so I think that there, uh, Jackie would be proud if if he would have saw a year ago that I was a part of the ownership group. And I think that you know him coming in baseball was bigger than just African Americans following him in baseball. Jackie Robinson. Bobby opened the door for a lot of those guys too, just like me, you know. I, if Jackie probably wouldn't have paid for the Dodgers, I don't think I'd be owning the Dodgers, you know. There's no doubt that the most important African American in our history was Martin Luther King. There is, I think, similarly no doubt that the second most important, and not second by much, was Jackie Robinson. Jack Robinson's impact was greater than just out of the baseball. He was a transforming agent. And in the face of such hostility and such meanness and violence, he did it with such amazing dignity. He had to set the course for the country. Were there better baseball players than Jackie Robinson? Yeah. Were there more important baseball players than Jackie Robinson? Who? Uh, I Jack, I Rob, I Sin, oh man, I'm Jackie Robinson, except when I run base, I dodge the pen, lucky me.